the giraffe's ten guards over the cub that has died, the spy that packed it, and all of it melts and ran away from the grief and sadness. A clan of hyenas from gather around the young calf, then suddenly, the giraffe stays by the side of the dead calf. Standing busily and refused to leave it as it lays in there. The giraffe stays the car and refused to abandon it. Despite the fact that there is no chance of coming back to life, the giraffe stood the guard, putting the car for scavengers and pedigree. It even rolled on the stomach and its hooves, so anywhere any other animal come close to the dead body. Hyenas typically hunt by stalking their prey, charging it until it is exhausted, and then attacking it with their powerful jaws and sharp teeth. They often target animals with existing injuries or disabilities. Disabled animals are easier to bring down and more vulnerable to attack. It's more likely that a hyena could succeed in attacking a zebra. Hyenas often attack baby poop in the wild. Typically, do this when they are desperate for food and see baby poop as an easy target. The hyenas typically pull the baby poop from behind, nip at its leg, and circle it around to keep it from escaping. Once the baby poop is immobilized, the hyena will then bite its vulnerable body parts and take it down. The hyena usually attack in pairs, or even if the baby poop is able to put out an unusual fight. The hyena will then still be able to overpower it. The attack can be so intense that the baby poop may not be able to survive the attack. And once the hyena attacks down, the baby poop they will feed a flesh and sometimes will carry it off to consume itself. Right?